Here is a 2024 Audi S8 in glacier white metallic over Merlot leather interior. 2022, we got a refresh on the exterior and in the interior. Updates kept going for 23. We got better leather. This year, we're getting remote start. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides in the largest flagship and fastest sedan is back going after bmw and mercedes i'm going to go over some pros and cons the comparable rivals and the problem that i have with the s8 audi starts off with matrix design led headlights and daytime runnings that go into the gloss black elements because we have the black optic package you're gonna to have to tick the box for that if you want it to look stylish like this for the single frame audi grille those audi o-rings that's another package the lower gets the gloss black on the side blade and it's going to carry around the whole vehicle. You'll have a bit of a pin stripe and around the window wells, the mirror housing and above the quad tip exhaust. What's unique about the S8 and even the A8 is the camera that's in the front registers the way the road is to make the vehicle stay as flat as possible. So when you're taking some bins, you won't move in your seat like traditional vehicles as Mercedes or BMW. And what's even more special is housed underneath this hood. 4.0 liter TFSI twin turbo V8 with 563 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. That's paired to an eight-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission. Now you're probably thinking, well, do I need all that power to get it motivated for a zero to 60 at 3.8 seconds, yes. And it's faster than Mercedes, it's faster than BMW, and you're still achieving 15 MPGs for the city and 24 MPGs for the highway, but when you're at a price that's around 160 dollars to $170,000, the last thing that I'm worried about is MPGs. I'm wanting a smooth drive, Audi does that. I'm wanting performance, Audi does that. It's not gonna have the Swarovski crystals like BMW, but they have the best lights in the business because of the animated that goes into it. So it does a little dance for you whenever you're unlocking your door, or even when you're locking your door, it's basically saying farewell to you. And the black optic package takes care of you even further because you're getting these 21 inch wheels. It's a 265, 35 on all four corners. Black brake calipers housing six pistons in the front. I mean, when I'm thinking about the power and performance and yet it's basically like a limousine, it's freaking me out. Unfortunately, you do have to add some packages. So we do have the executive package that would still option the 21 inch 10 spoke star design wheels with the summer tires. But because it's a black optic package, we're getting the 10 spoke design wheels with gloss black. That's gonna add the adaptive cruise control assist with lane guidance, Audi side assist with pre-sense rear, intersection assist, and traffic sign recognition with the remote park assist plus. Night vision package, we've added that also. So if you're looking to deck it up, you figure it's gonna cost about thirty to $40,000 in upgrades. This is gonna start around $120,000. And for the first time, opposed to the electric variants, we now have remote start. I am a big BMW and Mercedes fan, don't get me wrong. I think the S-Class does a fabulous job with luxury. But when I'm going into performance, they're just not going to take the cake. And the same thing with BMW, in which they now, for their electric variant, offer a M70 to compensate because that's how fast this thing is. LED taillights, the lower with the quad tips. I wish these were blacked out. Front and rear parking sensors and a 360 degree reverse camera. You can also option night vision, which we have. I don't necessarily think it's something that's groundbreaking because it doesn't cover the whole gauge cluster, but it is something that you could tick if you're looking to do a lot of driving, especially at nighttime. Power release going into over 18 cubic feet, which is the best in class compared to Mercedes and BMW. You get a 12 volt, a storage nook underneath the floor. You get the spare tire. These are the mats that's gonna come with it. And the pillow cushions for the back seat with a pass-through this is not just luxury, this is performance. We need to go inside, start up, so you can hear that exhaust note.
Sway Power Seat Adjustment Heated Ventilated Massage S Bolstering Memory for the passenger and driver. Headroom and leg room. We have the comfort package, which will give us leather in the center on the dashboard, the upgraded headliner, heads up display, and we have the night vision. So we got a lot of packages in this vehicle. Auto dimming rear view mirror, two sunroofs, the ambient lighting that's going to be found on the side and throughout the center and on the door panels with the quattro badging. We have the piano black inlays. That's what is between the satin aluminum. And it also gives a touch of it on the grab handles on the top and on the door and through the whole center. 10.1 MMI touchscreen with navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM FM streaming Bluetooth audio, Amazon Alexa, click into the vehicle. This is where you're going to find eight different seat settings when you click onto the seat. Also the massage function, which has all these different functions, plus the intensity, slide it over, and this is the different seat movements that are added that are not found on the actual seat. The actual massage is one of the best in class compared to anybody that offers it. Put it into reverse, and you have a 360 degree reverse camera full trajectory around the whole vehicle, and you can also move it, so that way you can see any imperfections on or around the vehicle. Click here, and you have a lot of different camera layouts, so you can see all different angles to make it easy for reversing. The lower screen is going to be an 8.8 .8 inch derived for the climate control, heated ventilated seats, the driving mode, and click this off. I'm just gonna put it back into home. If you click up here, that's going to open and close the sunshades for the back. Click this, and that's for the garage door opener. Click this, and now you have a more simplified page, click into here, and now you have for the heated steering wheel, the fragrance, click into the rear, and you can change the dual climate control settings into the back. Click the off button, click out of here, and you're back to normal. When you click and hold an icon, you can also configure it to where you want it to be. So if I want the vehicle to be, there we go, moves over simply. Another nice thing, as you may have noticed when we started the vehicle, the speakers, they come up. The air vents, they open up. So we're going to turn off the climate control. And the piano wood covers it, making a seamless cover for the dashboard. And when you turn the car off, the speakers will go back in and they'll deploy when you turn the car back on. Turning the climate control back on and they'll deploy out. Key fob for the wrong car. And the key fob for the S8. 12 volt, you get the wood inlays. This opens up as a two tier with the Audi foam box and a storage tier with two USB ports, three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. You get the S badging, multi-function with the paddle shifts. We have night vision, which when you change the configuration of this, you're gonna see it here in a second. It's a lot of different things that you can go through. There it is. And you can expand it for this left side or you can have it just simply in the center. The door is going to configure into the dash and I like how they integrate everything. Soft materials where it needs to be, a storage compartment, one touch up and down for all the windows, and a smaller storage pocket for the back seat headroom. And I have it reclined. You have 10 way power seat adjustment in the back. And these cushions are just like pillows, even though we have pillows. Leg space, plenty of it. And I'm sitting in the front driving both sides get storage. You get the wood and the ambient lighting, ambient lighting here and a mirror because your chauffeur needs to make sure you look good when you're going out. The climate control in the back, it's pretty cool. It's the same in the front. When you do this, it's touch pad. It'll turn on and off 
for the center and the side vents. Two 12 volt chargers, cup holders. The MMI for some reason has just been loading and this is how you move the seats, open it up and you get two more USBs in a storage pocket with two more areas that you can adjust this seat. So I was basically going on that journey to an airport. Memory seats are also set for the back and you get the power sun shades and you can close or open the shades in the back as well. It's gonna be a lot more fancy because this is more limousine style with a storage bin and a longer storage pocket in the door. Lifting this up, sadly, I don't know if I would do it, but I have five in my family, so I would have to. Feet space, you're gonna be sharing it because it's not flat. But in shoulder space, isn't necessarily too bad. It's not as presidential sitting into the center and headroom. I'm pretty much against the headliner. 563 horsepower with 590 pound-feet of torque. Over 5,200 pounds curb weight, but you're still getting a zero to 60 under four seconds. Audi quotes 3.8 seconds. This is a track driven vehicle and it's a large sedan. So when you're thinking how crazy Audi does their vehicles in the sense of what you're getting as performance, it blows me away. Because when you get into the back seats, it's presidential. You can recline the seats, 10-way power seat adjustment for the back. I get it, BMW has cleaned up the rear a little bit better in the sense that they put the little LCD screens on the door panel instead of having one in the center. But when I'm thinking about getting something with some performance behind it, this is going to be faster. Mercedes, they do a great job in the sense with the portrait style infotainment screen. And yes, you're gonna have a lot of screens here. You can turn off screens. And when you're considering the drive, they have went above and beyond because the camera that's in the front reads the road. So I'm not moving like this when I'm taking slight bends in the road. Obviously, if I'm doing something more performance, you'll still probably move a little bit, but air suspension is standard. And when I'm talking about a V8 twin turbo, look at this. pins you in your seat quick. You get a little bit of the exhaust note that filters in. I just passed the police officer. Hopefully I don't get a ticket because it's, I hate to say it, a fly underneath the radar type of vehicle. Most people don't know what an S8 is until they see it or actually have been in it to feel what it has. And what I mean by that, look at this. I'm going to downshift a couple. It's crazy. I don't know if I would option the night vision, but it's going to take me into some pros and cons. Starting off with the pros. This is still a family vehicle. And full stop, I'm liking what I, I get. If I'm not looking for a convertible vehicle and I'm a family guy and I want some performance and obviously I can afford over $150,000, this is something I would entertain. Now, the BMW Mercedes will be less in price but you also have to consider we have this more or less decked out. So once you start putting features on any of the vehicles, it starts adding up because the Swartzky crystals, that's not standard. You're gonna pay extra for that. The upgraded wheels, it's exactly what it is. I like the heated seats and armrests. It is cold. I'm in the state of Florida, but man, today it's been getting around in the 50s. And dynamically speaking, you can maneuver in and out and you still have brakes to stop you. So there is quite a few pros. Some cons, most of the power seat adjustments that make it a little bit more sporty are derived in the MMI, which you have to go into several pages, in which one of those pages is the vehicle page, in which I can see people saying, well, where's the massage seat? Luckily, they have the button that you can click. So if you click that, it will take you into the extra power seat adjustment. You just have to swipe over. But the problem that comes out is multiple clicks on the MMI and then the lower screen it's basically the same thing so it's not as necessarily simplified like they would like. The ambient lighting they did a good job it's not too much in your face similar to BMW and Mercedes they kind of go a step above Audi with actual ambient lighting 
but I'm fine with it. I mean, it's a cool color, blue, I have it set, and I feel more relaxed. Because this is a car that I want to lounge in, and a car that I also have performance that I could just mash. And it's virtually zero lag. And even though this is a long vehicle, and you would assume it's so low to the ground, the nice thing is you can still maneuver in and out without too many issues. And you can let that V8 by turbo breathe, stopping on a dime, turn radius, gonna do it kind of quickly. You have rear axle steering, so it's gonna help. That's just kind of composed driving, so you can actually see the difference of a little bit of performance and just a soft touch to it. It's still gonna go and do what it needs to do. Another pro about the Audi is when you are opening the door, the ride height will adjust for you. When you close it, it will readjust. So it's constantly trying to find that chauffeur feel because when I'm thinking Mercedes-Benz and I'm thinking BMW, they both went through a refresh. Yeah, it might look a little bit older in some cases, but I kind of like to fly underneath the radar so I'm not getting a ticket because like I said, I passed the cop, I was going pretty fast and he just let me go because he was thinking, uh, that's just a regular Audi. He had no idea what was underneath the hood. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise, website, and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like. And I'd like to thank Audi Tampa for giving us this 2024 Audi S8 for our car review. And at a rolling start. <laughs> and if you're worried about dynamics, you can move in and out without any issues. This thing is just ready to go. And yet, you see I'm not moving at all in the seat because I'm not making heavy moves, just driving normal with a little bit of performance. I can hear that exhaust so I get the excitement. And I still have my massage seats, heated armrest. I mean, this is luxury to the next level.